Hello everyone, I'm the Mollusk Dimension and today I'm going to be talking to Jasmine Priya, they them pronouns, the CEO of IOTA Events, also known as Big J Drag. I'm really excited about talking to Jasmine because we've been talking online for a while and I'm doing this in the lead up to the release of my music video Asians Have Feelings 2 which will be premiering on YouTube on the 7th of January next week. So I'm going to invite um, Jasmine to join me so that... Oh, oh hello. <laughs> Camera was the wrong way. Oh my gosh. I really hope no one just saw how disgustingly messy my room is. <laughs> I didn't see it. That's gonna be on that on the video. Wow. Um I just come back from being at home and my everything is everywhere. Hi, <laughs> it is so good to chat with you. <laughs> yeah, it's really great. I didn't see anything. And um there's a lot that happens outside of the frame. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, I, d I don't even want to know what's going on, it's chaos, but that's kind of my life, right? <laughs> you look, you look great. Thank you, I thought I'd put in some effort to, um, yeah, as I'm representing as CEO, I don't know if I should say that, it sounds a bit braggy, but technically I am. I like I it, I, like it. <laughs> yeah. I think more queer creators and makers should be like, yeah, I'm the CEO, like, yeah. <laughs> But then it's like that Asian thing of just like, yeah, feeling like too, I need to be like a bit more humble maybe, but then, I don't know, we're in the Western world. You like, could be a C You could be like a humble CEO. Yeah, for sure. That's like my brand, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel yes. like I'm just going to do the same makeup and wear the same jumper all the time, just be like a cartoon character. I think that's just, that's just easier for me. <laughs> that's also very good branding, for sure. You've got like an image. We love it. I just have too many eyeshadow palettes to play around with and I have a lot of fun. Yep. <laughs> um, so actually, I, I really want to know where you got back from, but that isn't on the list of questions. So <laughs> stick to the script. We um, can add it later, maybe. <laughs> and then we can chat about it in comments. <laughs> so if you're watching, then you'll have to look in the comments to find out where Jasmine's been. <laughs> um, so yeah, so would you like to tell us who you are? Uh, like for example yeah. work and interests or whatever yeah absolutely so jasmine pronouns they them um i'm here as like the ceo of my own business which is sort of like my side hustle i guess i hate that term um but it is i have a full-time job during the day as a boring corporate drone which i do enjoy but i've always wanted to have my own business so this is like a complete dream come true and um it's really amazing to be running a business that kind of provides queer spaces in a town that hasn't always been super queer and there isn't there are like a few locations which are definitely like queer centered but what I've been doing is sort of opening other places up to queer people to feel like they can be they can belong in that space as well so like um, a local Green King pub for example <laughs> um but also yeah just like loads of venues and um, from like independent venues to corporate chains so um yeah that's a bit about me I guess like my USP as a business person is that I focus on local drag performers and queer performers rather than um sort of more famous mainstream we have a very diverse scene where people can just do whatever the heck they want <laughs> on stage and express themselves as artistically as they like and it always seems to go really well. And um, yeah, just sort of promoting diversity and promoting like marginalized groups who might not necessarily get these opportunities. Mm, sounds really great. I've, I've squidded my way into the local scene. Yeah. And I've met you through We Are Double OK. And... Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> they gave me my start in drag. So honestly, I wouldn't be here without We Are Double OK, uh, or sort of Double OK and um, Sure Obsession like making it feel possible that I, but someone like me could do drag and get up on stage and act like a fool and have so much fun and that's like what I'm trying to do for everyone really. I've got um three drag children on the way. I'm pregnant with drag triplets <laughs> and it's just like the most exciting thing. <laughs> it's like the only kind of pregnant I want to be. Um, Yeah I've got I think two drag kings 
and a drag queen who um, I'm going to be giving birth to. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It sounds so. I just find it so good. I've got quite a vivid image. (laughs) Just like glitter and pizzazz and yeah. Um, So yeah, that's a bit about me. Yeah, I'm a drag performer as well. Probably should have mentioned that. Uh, Big J, the drag artist. Um, And I kind of started my business wanting to like give myself gigs rather than chasing other gigs, and it just makes it a lot easier. But um, also, yeah, just to make my town of Reading a lot more queer. Yeah, it sounds amazing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For that, I, I'd really like to catch more of the action. I was only there. Mm. Then I obviously uh, didn't actually get to see you perform, but then we sort of talked a lot and, you know, yeah. it goes, isn't it? <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, absolutely. Unfortunately, COVID got me when I was meant to meet you in person. Oh, it was like two and a half years. I thought I'd survived it, but no. Um, but I'm sure we will meet again in the future and like perform together in person. That'd be really cool. And here we are on the internet together. (laughs) Yeah, the wonderful world of digital technology linking us up is great. (laughs) I love the earrings as well. I've just got a comment. Oh, thank you. They're from a local company called The Big Happy. I'm doing a bit of like a kind of tropical look today because um, it's cold and I I miss the summer. Oh, yeah, yeah. (laughs) I was trying to describe what the colours were like and I couldn't, like, sort of fruity. Kind of. yeah fruity kind of like carroty maybe a bit of orange and green i don't know <laughs> just like maximum queer vibes you know <laughs> awesome um my second my second question was actually meant to be tell us about um iota events and big j drive yeah. which you kind of told a little bit about but yeah. for example do you want to um tell us what does iota stand for because it's an acronym. oh yeah totally it's an acronym uh so it's I-O-T-A, it's on the agenda. <laughs> what gender? Um, <laughs> with my non-binary flag in the background. Um, but also IOTA because I'm really incredibly detail-oriented and I like to say that I plan everything down to the last IOTA. Like I have so many lists just making sure that everything is completely organised and I'm completely, I've got complete visibility of absolutely everything. I'm a massive control freak. So yeah, it just felt like um, a good name for it. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, I like that. And what about Big J Drag? I mean, do you have any... Big J? Where did that name come from? Yeah, that name was actually a nickname in school. And it wasn't like a fat phobic nickname at all. <laughs> um, basically, my name is Jasmine. And my whole life, from teachers to colleagues and everything, people always like call me Yasmin or something else that's not completely my name at all. I don't know why people struggle with my name, but they do. And um, I used to get really annoyed about it, especially in school with one particular English teacher. And uh, I would correct them all the time. And I just, it it just got too much. So I just gave up. But my classmates picked up the mantle. And every time this English teacher called me Yasmin, the whole class would scream, it's Jasmine with a big J. All right. (laughs) And then uh, some more creative members of my class that came up with this whole alter ego of big j being like a really like hood street like drug dealing pimp <laughs> it, was, it was complete the complete opposite to my character and my personality at the time it was so funny but i think that's like it's just really representative of drag like being that kind of alter ego that you kind of step into and you kind of feel like really confident and um yeah it just felt like the the only name that my drag character could have <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, thanks for explaining that. I didn't know that. Actually. Yeah. You know what? I have actually been terrified of calling you Yasmin. It's... <gasps> <laughs> it sets in, but now, now, now it like, seems to be like a ridiculous thing that everyone... But yeah, like, now I think about like the big J thing as well. Like... Yeah. Yeah, you can call me J. <laughs> you can call me J, that's cool. Like, now it's sort of more of a body positive thing because I like consider myself plus size. So I like to say, so, yeah, it's like big J for like my big thighs or whatever. Um, oh, but yeah. <laughs> I but also like, like, whole, like I mean, it could be that as well. Yeah, um, but yeah, also that whole like kind of childhood spirit, like just sort of. I've always like loved kind of being act, like acting and being like really dramatic and stuff, and I feel like drag is such a great outlet for that, mm-hmm. and that's definitely like something from my childhood. And I think it's really important to like look back to your childhood and think about the things you're passionate about and try and bring that forward into your adult life, just to. Give it, give you some more, yourself some more joy, really. Oh yeah, I love that. Yeah, that's really, really great. 
Yeah. Um, I've been listening to some old um, tunes I used to listen to when I was in uni recently. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's nice. Um, hmm. and, and it does kind of like reawaken something. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah for sure. Drag does awaken a lot. <laughs> <laughs> a lot <laughs> it's great i really i really can't wait to, to to get back out and see some some more drag um okay so my next question is uh what are you working on now or like and or what would you like to tell people about honestly what am i not working on now like <laughs> i really probably should calm down but i don't see any sign of that happening um i've got some really interesting projects in the works i think a big focus for 2023 is to just sort of try and uplift like marginalized people, people who don't necessarily have, or like feel like they can access spaces because they just feel like barriers and just trying to remove those barriers and give people those spaces. But um, I've got some fun things planned. Like I'm gonna start hosting drag karaoke at Be It One, which is gonna be, I'm sure a crazy fun time. And I'm gonna continue doing my drag shows with Bar 77 where I'm a drag resident. Um, the second Thursday of the month there is always a free drag night. I'm going to host those with some like fun and games and um, guest performers. And uh, I really want to focus on my drag house a bit more as well. I actually have one, <laughs> which I've just completely neglected, um, House of Big. So I want to yeah work with those performers more and just like maybe debut as a house. That'd be really cool. And also give birth to all my drag babies. <laughs> I think by the end of this year, I don't even know how many I'll have. I mean, by the end of February, I'll have, we'll have like five drag children which would be really cool um <laughs> the only the only kind of parent i'll ever be <laughs> um but yeah there's loads of exciting things in the works i just can't wait to share it with everyone and um yeah my one year anniversary for iota events is 24th of january um yeah so like i'm almost one year in business and hopefully many many more years too oh it sounds really exciting yeah, yeah. <laughs> things are coming up and it's really great to to hear about them very exciting yeah well, thank you so much um so that's gonna that's bringing our interview to a close um, yeah but we're gonna talk a little bit about you and asians have feelings too because like i'm so excited for everyone to see this video and oh my god like this is such a great song it's like already one of my favorites i might have to do like a lip sync performance to it at some point it's just that <laughs> yeah. iconic. oh my god that would be amazing <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Yes. it would be so cool and um i'm really excited for everyone to get to see it i'm gonna make everyone i know watch it honestly it's like you, a beautiful beautiful well? masterpiece do you like singing do you sing no okay. <laughs> no i'm not karaoke sure how, in the world. how like yeah. obviously anyone could do anything for fun but in terms of yeah. cover cover i'm not sure how i'd feel about like maybe like you know sis hat uh, white people performing it as such but obviously everyone's feel, you know can feel free to like just have fun like singing along yeah. or karaoke or whatever but like yeah. as a drag thing I would yeah I would love to uh, you know to see other people especially Asians yeah. kind of you, you know using the track mm. um, yeah I mean it'd be amazing and it's just such like a it's just a gorgeous song and the video is so cute um it's like rent living rent free in my brain i just can't wait it's 7th of january that it's going to be released yeah yeah saturday is mm. like at 2 p.m oh god so long for everyone to wait <laughs> god <laughs> <laughs> but it'll be yeah it'll be great yeah um yeah you, you wrote a really nice um comment about it which is on the post if people want to go mm. and check the other post which is a picture of jasmine on it you can read what jasmine said actually among the things that you said you said um a lyrical masterpiece truly from the heart for sure <laughs> there are some lyrics i think as an asian person that like just really like hit hit like me in the feels you know like i can yeah it's really relatable um and i think it was just it's like it's like political but it's not you know it's just really emotional and um yeah it's really really great way to kind of communicate these things that we experience on a daily basis so 7th of January at 2 p.m. everyone save the date <laughs> and time there was a way that I could show I, I, I couldn't rem remember apparently you can like show a picture from your phone I was going to show the screen but I'm not going to dare do it in case I like lose it I'll have to like, <laughs> never mind um yeah so everyone like you can hop on my bio link and um pre-save the video if you want to be yes when it definitely comes do that 
um yeah it'd be really great yeah thank you everyone for joining us and yeah check out io2 events and mm. a drag and go mm. to running and like do drag yeah <laughs> yes come and be queer and enjoy all the queer chaos that we have around here it's wow. yeah it'd be great to see more people and meet all of you next year hopefully i'm so excited and this has been really lovely thanks squid oh, nice thank trip you. you thank you <laughs> thanks everyone for joining us thank you bye thank you.